So today we are going to talk about one of the most overlooked steps that take place in color grading. I see a lot of people missing this particular step because they are so happy with the look, the color grade that they have created that they have completely forgotten about the skin tone. It is our job as colorists or editors to perfectly nail the skin tone. Now we cannot always just trust our eyes to figure out whether the skin tone is perfectly balanced, whether it's a little bit green, a little bit red or a little bit magenta, which way it needs to be shifted. All of those things uh, will be figured out by looking at the graphs. There are different types of graphs and I'm going to show you how you can very easily fix the skin tone in any footage. And I've got multiple footages to show you the process in different scenarios. All right, let's get started. This one is the first footage. Again, I'm not going to color grade things much. I'm just going to work with uh, mainly the skin tone. This shot is shot in S log three and it has been converted to Rec 709 over here. I'll get, get rid of all the unnecessary stuff. Okay, only the CST is here. Now, if we zoom into this, you see there is a very subtle greenish tone in the skin and that is something that we want to fix. Perfect. Now what happens if we do not really see that because it might be the monitor, it might be the particular display that you're using, it might be, I don't know, it might be something else but uh, how do we exactly know, how can we be sure that there is a little greenish tint because it's, it is not very evident. To understand that this is what we call the vector scope. This is the graph which shows basically the HSL values on a circular graph. Here the angle is hue, hue basically means color. The distance from the center is the saturation, okay? So these are, all those things you would see over here are basically pixels. And the more bright a part is, the more uh, pixels in that part there is. That is why you'll see there is a lot of white in the shot, right? You'll see a lot of white pixels, a little bit of red, a little bit of slight uh, orangish colors which will be here and a lot of orange in the bed sheet as well so those are the things that you will see and uh, very easy way to explain this is like if i increase uh, the saturation you will see the colors will grow further from the center and if i decrease the saturation it will grow closer to the center so the distance from the center of a pixel is the saturation of the pixel if i turn the saturation to zero you will see there will be nothing every pixel has coincided back onto the center and same thing if i shift the hue like this, with this you will see that this whole thing will just keep rotating around and around that is we are changing the color perfect okay so this vector scope that we see is for the whole picture, right? But we just want this skin. What we can do is we can create uh, another node and we can create uh, a small box, right? A very small box on our skin. Anything like this, like this, like this. Okay, that's completely skin. I'll, I don't need any softness in this mask. But yeah, that is created. And if I turn on the highlight, then you will see where exactly it is lying. As you can see here, it is lying here. If I want a much bigger mask, I can do that because the eyes won't do be much of a problem, honestly. So I can take this whole part of my skin and see where we stand. You see this, this part, the all the pixels that you see are a little bit below the line. Now what is this line? This is the skin tone indicator. Now it does not matter which ethnicity, which race you are from, your skin tone is ideally lying on this line. If you do not see it here, you have to come over here and turn on this show skin tone indicator. Okay. So this line will help us understand which way we need to shift our hues, which way we need to shift anything about our skin or about any color without just trusting our eyes. So perfect we understand there's a little bit of green in it so we need a little more at a little more magenta or reduce the green so what we can do is uh, i'll come to white balance and i'll take this i'll add a little more magenta into the shot okay because the opposite of green is magenta now if i come here and open this this thing is much closer to this you'll see before this is where it was and now it is it is it has grown much closer now see the only problem over here 
is so the only problem is that whatever tint changes or whatever hue changes whatever temperature changes that we do it is going to affect the whole shot that is not really something that we want so while color correcting what we can do inside of uh, da vinci is to create a mask of our skin tone so what you can do is to make a qualifier i'll pick a frame where there is some other color over here okay we'll pick a qualifier and we'll come into this one qualifier and take the uh, eyedropper tool and click on somewhere that is a skin tone perfect now we'll turn on the highlight and we'll try to make the selection as good as best as possible so the bed sheet needs to go that's one thing so i'll increase the saturation over here just a tad bit you can have that but i don't need that much wait okay luminance we can have this much it's okay that looks good i'll add a little bit of pre-filter clean on it and black and we'll add a little bit of blur radius now as you can see the orange spots on the bed sheet is also selected but okay that's not that big of a problem but as you can see this thing is not on perfectly on the line it is a little bit towards green this is green this is magenta by the way so what we need to do is to deselect or we can just keep it selected and add a little more magenta or we can add some tint to it as i add more tint you see now it is completely lined up now this is the actual skin tone if i get rid of this highlight now this is what skin should have looked like we have fixed the skin tone this is before now you will be able to see that how green it was this is before this is after this is before this is after right perfect now let's try some other footages for let's do it for this i'll just add some is log 3 and uh, take maybe this this part perfect and uh, let's first figure out if we need any changes okay i'll just create a qualifier of my skin and let's see how it did oh, i don't do anything okay okay yeah so i think this is a very pretty good pretty good qualifier for skin i'll get rid of a little bit of the unsaturated background yeah i think this is a pretty good qualifier for skin and as we can see it is pretty damn well on the line we can add a little bit of magenta little bit to shift it towards the right shift it towards the top i think even slighter because this shot the skin tone was perfectly balanced so we don't really need to do much about it this is how it looks and then we can do other adjustments if we want let's try a different shot then there is this shot okay let's try this let's lock three bays this i feel like is also going to be pretty good actually see when you are working with uh, bicolored lights like the one that i have right now the skin tones are generally not that fucked okay i'll turn this on uh let's have the skin tone okay this is the skin tone but there is a lot going on not just the skin okay this is just the skin and as you can see it is a little bit towards magenta we can as usual push it towards green and then remove this and then remove this okay, get this back and this is what the skin tone should have looked like this is before as you can see now you can notice there is a little bit of greenish tint in my face and this is after perfect let's do it for very quickly for two more shots this is one shot and i'll do for this as well i think all of my shots have a little bit of greenish tint for some reason maybe it's my camera sensor okay let's take this shot uh and uh oh, start a qualifier let's see what the qualifier is already selected uh it's not a very good not a very good mask i think uh see the mask does not need to perfectly encapsulate the skin tone uh for when we are viewing it when we are just trying to when we are just trying to understand uh, whether the footage is uh, which side it is shifted towards then we don't really need uh sorry papas papas 
See, we're not just trying to understand which way the footage needs to go and which way it is skewed. We don't really need a very perfect mask. Like in this case, we just need to understand what's up. Again, it's it's green. <laughs> we need again magenta. We'll get into here. We'll add a little bit more magenta. And so it is sort of the center of that whole blob is on that perfect line. I'll remove and I have this. Now this to my taste is a little bit more magenta like this is perfect skin tone okay this is perfect skin tone but in this particular case i don't want it to look this saturated i wanted it to look uh, a little more flushed out okay a little more desaturated so i'll just if i undo this this is actually this still has a little bit of green in it this still has a little bit of green in it okay so i think this is a little too much i'll decrease it somewhere over here now this looks balanced this is not magenta this is not green this is perfectly balanced over here. Let's do it for another shot. This you can definitely, I'm pretty sure you can just see this is green. This is a lot of green, right? It, it is a lot, lot of green. So I'll just uh, in, start the qualifier and uh, see what's selected. Selection is pretty good. I'll just get rid of the background. Yeah, I think this selection is pretty good, honestly. This is pretty, pretty good. And as you can see, it is again skewed towards green. I wish I had a footage which was skewed towards somewhere else. Uh, but yeah, I'm going to come over here. I can either see there are different things you can do. Basically, there is a more green and we need more magenta in it. Or we can just decrease the green. So either you can add it from here or you can come here and decrease the green. And you see, it does the, almost does the same thing. Now, this thing, this blob is on that line. We're going to get rid of this. And this is a much more realistic skin tone because our skin has blood vessels under it. So that is why it has a warmer tone generally not. And if you don't like it this much, you can de de increase the green just a little bit. But you see, you increase it and the green comes back. It doesn't look good. This is more of a perfect skin tone. So as usual, I hope you learned something very valuable from this video. I hope you guys keep learning more things from this channel and i hope we all can learn colors better learn storytelling better and we all can make amazing amazing videos that was it for this episode i'll see you in the next one